In 2004 came a game for the ages, humanity's return to the war that it wages, everyone wanting to see more Master Chief, in a brand new campaign players got their relief. It was a powerhouse on Xbox Live, in Blood Gulch, Reds and Blues struggle and strive. I bid you all welcome as I perform for you, the epic legend of the game, Halo 2. Our tale begins where the last one left. Halo destroyed, drifting, bereft. The prophets of the Covenant seething with rage at the elite in front of them spot lit on the stage. He explains the destruction of the Halo ring. For the Covenant, you see, it was a holy thing. The elite is chastised for his failure to win, and the council deems it a heretical sin. The elite is led away, his punishment unkind. The Covenant moves forward. And you shall be left behind. Meanwhile, above Earth, on an orbital cannon, the Chief is chastised about his reckless abandon. He's busted the components of his suit for one. You know how expensive this gear is, son? The Chief calibrates as Johnson walks in. The award ceremony above is about to begin. They make their way there and look out at the Earth, and they hope their defenses can show what they're worth. As the Chief heads on for the awards of his mission, the elite from before is led to his prison. Tartarus is impressed. Drawn quite a crowd. All the Covenant races here to see him disavowed. He's displayed an example of ultimate failure and is branded as such by his brutish jailer. Meanwhile, the humans accept their awards, but Cortana anticipates the Covenant hordes will be arriving soon to begin their attack so everyone prepares for a desperate fight back. The Covenant arrive, but their fleet strangely small. They expected it would be like the planet Reach's fall. The fleet that destroyed Reach was 50 times this size. But even these ships can bring about demise. The Chief and Johnson load up for a fight. As a dropship docks in the Covenant alight, the Marines give them hell as they push through the station, when out the window, a large detonation. One of the defense cannons is utterly destroyed. There are only two left nearby. They have to avoid losing all their defenses or Earth is at stake. So they continue on forwards, leaving death in their wake. More Covenant are cleared, but hope fades further. As another cannon blows in a ball of hot fervor. Cortana chimes in. She knows what is wrong. The Covenant have boarded and they have a bomb. The Chief makes his way to the bomb's location. He kicks Major Elite ass and stops detonation. How much time was left? You don't want to know. Chief has an idea for where the bomb should go. He opens the doors as the bomb is pulled out. The odds are astronomical, but Chief has no doubts. With all of the luck in the universe at hand, Chief sails with the bomb for an entrance so grand. As a Covenant ship sails past him below, into it the Chief and his payload go. He rearms the bomb at a vulnerable spot and extracts from the ship before things get too hot. The ship blows and the chief falls away from the mass as gamers worldwide yelled holy shit that's badass. He lands safely on a ship as only Master Chief could. For a brick, he flew pretty good. The marines land on earth and they all get set. Cortana finds a signal saying, Regret, regret, regret. He's a Covenant Prophet, a Hierarch, a lead that the Chief must now follow to learn what they need. Why they've landed on Earth with so meager a crew. Through the streets of the city, the Marines push through. On foot and in vehicle, the Chief presses in. The city of New Mombasa won't let the Covenant win. In the Covenant chatter, Cortana detected that humans being on Earth was not expected. That's why their assaulting fleet was so small. But there's more to learn, and Regret knows it all. Before they can reach him, a threat must be quelled. A big scarab tank that must quickly be felled. They know the procedures, it's like riding a bike. Johnson brings a tank. Oh, I know what the ladies like. They track it through the city and the chief gets aboard. Takes down the scarab and the covenant hordes. Regret's ship is leaving, it is jumping away. So they follow in their own, on his tail they must stay. Our attention shifts to the elite from before. He's dragged from his cell out along the floor. Tartarus, the brute, is close at hand. He is the one that gave him the brand. 
He's brought before the prophets a plan in mind. He'll become the Arbiter, a legend of his kind. It's a role that will most certainly end with him dead. This is how the Council will punish him instead. They know he's no heretic, but a real one is known. So onto his trail the Arbiter is thrown. He seeks to subvert the Covenant beliefs, and the prophets want him dead. It would be a relief. He's holed up on a facility near the first Halo site. Arbiter arrives and prepares for a fight. They fight through the station, grunts and elites, but when they catch up, the heretic retreats. He speaks of an oracle that he must protect. It was they that caused the heretic to reject all the lies of the Covenant, the great journeys of fraud. Just a means for the prophets to rule like false gods. They take flight in banshees and fight in the air, eager to end him right then and there. But he escapes yet again to a new location, where the Arbiter learns the intent of this station. The Flood are here, they have broken free. The facility was used to research them, you see. Now the heretics and Flood are blocking the way of the Arbiter's chance to save the day. They fight through the station and reach a grand hall. An idea, cut the station loose, make it free fall. The station is held up by three cables above. Hopefully this will help give the heretic a shove out of where he is hiding so he can be found. So Arbiter cuts the cables and brings everything down. It works as the heretic tries to flee. When we finally see the oracle, it's 343. Three. He obviously knows what the ring is really for, but before he finishes, the heretic shoots more. They have a grand battle, a tough heretic defeat. Tartarus arrives and takes the oracle in retreat. Back to the chief now, who emerges from the jump. Regret's ship and them arrive with a jostling bump. They pause to regroup and try to see where to go, when they see in their view. That is another halo. Miranda Keys flies her ship to the ring, and the chief rides a drop pod down to the thing. They must capture Regret and find out what he knows. Why the Earth and this ring were the places he chose to travel to? What is the Covenant's plan? What is the Great Journey? Why this hatred of man? As he falls to the ring on this perilous jump, Cortana's unconcerned and says, Mind the bump. The chief hits ground and pummels his foes. Rockets he fires, grenades he throws. The landing zone's clear, Johnson flies in, and drops off a warthog the chief takes for a spin. In the middle of a lake, a large temple we see. If I were a megalomaniac, and I'm not, that's where I'd be. They fight through the Covenant and reach a large ridge. To cross it, they lower a really cool bridge. A new tank is delivered and Chief rolls through the ruins, with rockets and gunfire through Covenant he's chewing. Chief reaches the lake and abandons his ride. He finds a building with honor guard elites inside. They're defending the Prophet in the middle of the lake and battle with the chief, but their lives he will take. Inside, a hologram, Regret's plans start to show. The Prophet of Regret is planning to activate Halo. This is obviously bad. They must reach him quick, and punch him quite firmly in his covenant dick. Keys and Johnson split off, the index to find. Master Chief and Cortana are left behind. Their goal is Regret, to find him and kill him. So across the lake, they close in on the villain. On gondolas in air and shuttles underwater, tons of Covenant foes succumb to a slaughter. Cortana discovers that Regret jumped the gun. His journey to Earth was too hastily done. He had asked for forgiveness from his prophet bros, since he didn't expect Earth to be covered in foes. The others respond, he put prophecies at risk. Truth and mercy, the other prophets are pretty damn pissed. Cortana expects Regret's death will cause trouble. All the more reason to kick his ass on the double. As they reach his temple, they look up in the air, as hundreds of Covenant ships arrive there. That's the largest Covenant I've ever seen. As the Covenant city appears, menacingly serene. Chief enters the temple where regret is found. He hops on his shuttle and proceeds to pound his head with his fist, kicks his shit back in. As he dies on the ground, the Chief gets the win. The Covenant fleet have made the decision to fire at and destroy Chief's current position. He runs as fast as his suit will allow him to go as he falls to the safety of the waters below. He floats in the waters, but what no one expects is the tentacle that pulls Chief down to the depths.
The death of regret has indeed caused concern. As we follow the Arbiter, we begin to learn that the Prophets are now afraid for their safety, and make a decision that is terrifically weighty. The Elites had always been the Prophets' protectors, but now the Brutes have the role. Elites threaten as defectors. The Prophets who now have the Oracle in hand have learned of the Index and tell Arbiter to land his team on this new ring and find it in a hurry, so the Covenant can resume its quest for the Great Journey. Arbiter flies to the ring and learns the Chief is near. He confirms this with Tartarus. The Demon is here? They call Chief the Demon due to his reputation of wiping the floor with the Covenant Nations. He is now in a race, there is no time to ease. He must get the Index before Johnson and Keyes. The Flood on the Ring have spread everywhere, and a dark massive wall is between here and there. Arbiter travels through chutes and vents to track down the Index for which he was sent. He gets through the wall and down to the ground, where Covenant and Flood are at war all around. Another elite joins the goal they're pursuing, but warns Arbiter, I hope you know what you're doing. They battle through a deluge of sentinels and flood, and can't move two feet without red on the HUD. Finally at last the library is reached, but Miranda and Johnson have already breached. She grabs hold of the index but Arbiter attacks, and in the confusion Tartarus pulls her back. He takes the index and Johnson and Keys, and betrays the Arbiter before he flees. The Prophets, it seems, have ordered his death, and Tartarus tries this without taking a breath. Arbiter falls to the deep down below, as another tentacle wraps around his torso. Cortana asks what's that, as the creature begins. I am a monument to all your sins. It is known as the Gravemind, a part of the Flood. But he's here to talk, not yet looking for blood. With the Chief, Cortana, and the Arbiter in hand, the Gravemind helps them all understand. This one is machine and nerve, and has its mind concluded. This one is but flesh and faith, and is the more deluded. The Arbiter learns that the Covenant is misled. The Great Journey will only make everyone dead. To activate the rings only kills the Flood's food. They must stop the Prophets before their plans conclude. They must find the Index as soon as they can, so the Gravemind comes up with a possible plan. You will search one likely spot, and you will search another. Fate had us meet as foes, but this ring will make us brothers. Gravemind then supports our heroic two, as Chief appears in high charity with a humorous <laughs> Chief has been teleported to the Covenant Holy City, a massive ship called High Charity. Chief clears out the council chamber with ease, then Cortana asks Chief for him to leave her in High Charity's network. It's easier to track the Prophet's escape to get the Index back. She leads Chief through the city, opening doors, chasing the Prophets up and down floors. Cortana finds some Marines imprisoned nearby. We should go get them out and not leave them to die. So they make their way to the Brig controls, and with help take out the encroaching patrols. As they continue further through the corridors, Elites and Brutes battle, their races at war. The shakeup caused by the change of the guard has hit on the pride of the Elites very hard. She also hears Covenant ships shooting each other, as an amberclad flies in up above her. That's the ship that previously Miranda was driving, but as it passes by, in a crash course it's diving. As the Covenant engage in civil war all about, Cortana suggests, You might consider sitting this one out. As Johnson and Keyes are separated ahead, the Flood pour out trying to make them dead. The Brutes and the Prophet of Truth get away, but the Prophet of Mercy has seen his last day. We return to the Arbiter to see where he's placed. There's a whole bunch of brutes getting up in his face. As Arbiter fights through the civil war on the ground, a pretty boss stockpile of weapons is found. He grabs what he needs and proceeds on with his goal, as Tartarus and Miranda reach the Halo's controls. Now back to the Chief as he finds Mercy dying. To a forerunner ship to escape, Truth is flying. He's hoping to lead all the Covenant to Earth. To finish the great journey, the Covenant's rebirth. 
Cortana brings up an old plan that they've had. They'll destroy High Charity by blowing up in Amber Clad. Just like on the first Halo, it'll do just the thing. The blast will destroy this city and the ring. Cortana requests that she stays in the station. She doesn't want to chance a remote detonation. The flood at this point have the city overrun. The grave mind, it seems, has betrayed everyone. Chief just barely makes it to the Forerunner ship. He launches ahead to tag along on its trip. The Chief will come back once the mission's completed. So make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. The Arbiter returns to make his last run, to stop Tartarus from killing everyone. They find a scarab, they can use its laser, to blow open the doors of the control room later. Sergeant Johnson, it seems, is at the scarab's wheel. They forge an alliance against a threat that's more real. The Arbiter boards a banshee to fly, and defends the scarab by staying close by. They soon reach the gates and they're quickly destroyed. After Tartarus, the Arbiter is quickly deployed. As they get to the controls, Miranda is threatened to insert the index, but at the very last second, Arbiter and Johnson break up Tartarus' club, who says to him, Please, don't shake the light bulb. But Tartarus grabs Miranda and forces her hand. The index inserted as the ring starts a grand warm-up to ready its pulse to fire. It's become very clear the situation is dire. The humans and the Arbiter fight off the brutes, but Tartarus has a shield that Johnson shoots which gives them an opening to scorch his hide, and with their cooperation, Tartarus dies. Miranda pulls the index out of its slot. Now this Halo's pulse can no longer be shot. The rings are on standby, there are seven out there. They must be activated remotely from a station somewhere. 343 says that station is called the Ark. Then we cut to the chief who jumps out of the dark on the forerunner ship that arrives in the sky above Earth, and at this point we all suspect why. The Ark is why Regret came to Earth before. But just as things get exciting, it's hard to ignore the massive cliffhanger that comes out of sight as the game ends with Chief saying he's finishing this fight. As the credits end and we all think it's over, one last scene starts as we grab our controllers. Cortana and the Gravemind are having a chat. But that's all we get as the screen fades to black. Thanks so much for watching the summary of Halo 2. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. Check out some of my other videos if you're interested. And as usual, my friends, until the next time, be legendary.